welcome back. It is Sunday, March 12th, and it is only, it's late actually, it's 1040, but the time, time change was today, so it really should only feel like 940, but I did not get enough sleep last night, so it feels very late. Um, I'm going on a trip, not tomorrow, but Tuesday morning, but I'm leaving from New Jersey, which means I'm leaving house in Pennsylvania tomorrow. And Michael is so sad about it. I'm so sad. You heard it here, folks. <laughs> but. Because Brianna's. I'm sorry. Do your thing. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to Florida for the week with Nanny to help her check on her place down there. I take a little break from work. And I need to prep my yarn. So. Okay. I. I'm bringing my dress for my shower. I'm working on the front right now. Michael's talking rudely on his video games. I'm on the front. I have the back to do and then the ruffles. Realistically, it could be enough yarn for the entire trip, but it's white, und well, it's undyed yarn, and having it at the pool while I'm like, suntan lotion. I don't know. It's making me feel nervous, which now I'm also thinking about that with my boucle, but... It'll be fine. Um, so I'm going to prep some yarn. I need to wind up one more skein of undyed sunfish. And then I have classic on boucle. It's whoa, looking very tonal on this camera. But it is a little bit more tonal than usual because I'm learning how to dye boucle. And it needs so much more water than my other bases. But these are going to become a pair of thick tan line shorts. Um, and they're going to be in my donut 2.0 pre-order this week. So that's exciting. So I'm going to wind these two up. I'm going to wind undyed. And I think I'm going to also bring one pair of socks to work on. Need some variety um but then I need to go upstairs and actually pack and get to bed because it's late and I'm tired yarn is prepped yarn bags are prepped I'll show you those at some point and for now I'm trying to figure out what to take we're going to be there Tuesday through Sunday which is Tuesday Wednesday Thursday Friday Saturday five nights six days so I have some day outfits, mostly just bathing suits, shorts, t-shirts, lounging, a beach cover-up, things like that. And then I need five nighttime outfits. Bringing my jumpsuit. I'm bringing my seaside dress. Um, for sure. I think I'm going to bring my twisted tee skirt. So that's three nights. Um, my sea breeze top. So that's a fourth night. And then my palm your knits is a fifth night and my twisted t-shirt is a sixth night which is more nights than we'll be there but that's okay um and then i'm bringing my twisted my thick um tan line shorts those are cool for like daytime lounging my tan line joggers are good for like nighttime hanging out relaxing um this is more than i need clearly um, bathing suits, I have some graphic tees, I have two pairs of jeans to go with those tops that I brought. I should bring a cardigan. I'm going to grab a cardigan because the thing about Florida is it's warm outside, but that means inside there's air conditioning on everywhere. So... I don't know which comfort fade will match some of the things I have better. I have my whiny fade or my sandy fade. So let's go see. Then we'll make a decision from there. Oh. I think it's my sandy fade. Okay. Throw that in. That is great. Actually, I'll probably wear this on the plane. I know Natalie, Nitty Natty, recently talked about like plain traveling outfits. 
I also love wearing a cardigan. I will bring a sweatshirt with me for like sleeping, nanny's house, hanging out. And then I'll bring that cardigan. And then to be honest, I'll probably just grab like a pair of yoga pants to wear on the plane with my comfort feed. I could wear my tan light joggers. Bring my thick tan line joggers. Now I'm bringing way too much stuff. I'm going to bring one pair of yoga pants and maybe I'll wear my thick tan line joggers so I can wear them home on the plane. It is Monday night. I made it to New Jersey. We had dinner. We're hanging out. I'm going to go to bed soon. It's like 9 15. Um, and I did a bunch of prep for the release tomorrow. Getting all ready to leave. We wake up at 5 a.m. Well, we actually get in the car to go to the airport at 5 a.m. So I decided I wanted to prep one of my socks. Um, Because right now the only project I have on my needles is um, my dress. And it's kind of big on the airplane. I don't know. I wanted something small just in case. And at first, so let me tell you what I'm doing here. I made Michael these socks from Rhinebeck and they're too short and I kind of knew they were too short but I was like I think they'll be fine they're not fine they're too short I need to add an inch and a half what I was going to do let me prop this up and then show you with both hands okay so what I was going to do I knit this toe up so I was going to frog back to here and re-knit the entire heel and leg and then I was like wait that's silly what if I just work backwards, pick it up this way, and then knit the foot? And then I was like, well, that's silly. I might as well just pick it up right by the toe. And as I was going to cut this, I was like, wait a minute. Why am I even going to bother re-knitting the whole toe? I already knit it. And honestly, the toe doesn't take that long. Maybe 40 minutes. But, maybe less. But, I realized I could do something else. Because this is toe up. I would have to go to the cast on and like unpick it. And then I was like, why don't I do this cool thing where I cut this out, add an inch and a half with the yarn that I have, and then graft it back on. So I've put one needle through the leg of all the stitches in this row, and then I skip one row in between. It's kind of hard to see. And then I put another needle here. So I now have two circular needles here and here. I'm going to snip one of these stitches, unpick this whole row back, and then knit an inch and a half with the extra ball of yarn that I have. And that's going to take me like an hour and a half, maybe, to do this whole sock. Or I was basically going to re-knit the whole sock, which is awesome. Because I was like, I think I brought too much yarn. I'm not going to knit that much. What do I do? But now I realized this will be very quick might not even be worth taking. Well, I'll take it, but it's going to be very quick. So, yeah. Cool thing for me to realize. Uh, you'll see this as I go. We're in the airport and we just went to the bathroom. We were sitting on the plane for like two hours and then they finally deplaned us. Uh, there was something going on with the computers. I 
I'm only slightly annoyed because it's snowing here and I want to go to the pool. But I finished my sock and just need to weave in the ends. Um, so maybe I'll work on the second sock. Oh, actually, probably not because I don't have a normal scissor, which is what I need to work on this. So maybe I will take out my dress and work on that. I watched like 45 minutes of your place or mine so I guess I'll finish that I had downloaded a bunch of nitty witches videos to watch on the plane but I accidentally was logged into the wrong YouTube so all the ones I downloaded I couldn't access on the plane so this actually worked out well because when we deplaned I logged into the Wi-Fi and changed my YouTube account so now I should be able to watch those after I finish the movie let's see how this goes it is now 2.45, it's almost 3 o'clock. We made it to Nanny's apartment. You saw us when we got deplaned. We got back on the plane and had another like hour and a half stuck on the runway before we took off or on our way to the runway before we took off. And then, Nan, do you want to tell the people what happened? My tooth? Yeah. Oh, my tooth broke on the middle <laughs> <laughs> Not the front tooth, the one right next to it. Cracked right in half and fell out. So, we just got to the house. We should have been here at 10. It's now 3. Um, and I learned something, and I realized something. I prepped my yarn, and I'm going to take this down to the pool. <laughs> it's not nice. Um... Oh, technically my needles are on the wrong side. I, it doesn't matter. I don't care. Um, what I'm going to do, I learned this. Last time I snipped the yarn right at this edge, which meant the tail was too short to weave in, so I had to pick out another row. So instead, I'm going to start at this side, away from the needle, so it's halfway between both sides. And then there's a long enough tail on either side. So I'm just going to snip this. I'm not even going to unpick it. Snip this, put my um, progress keeper, and then take this downstairs and do all of this poolside. It is now 11 o'clock. We're just getting home from dinner. Very tired. But we got big knitting things done today. I knit, finished both of my socks. I checked that off. I finished grading, writing up, figuring out yardage. That took the longest. Putting out the tester application, which also means the feedback form, the Ravelry pages for the jumpsuit and the jump set, and created a Slack channel. So tomorrow or the next day, whenever I choose testers, all I have to do is send out the email. Big computer day because it was raining, but that's awesome. And I finished the top and the back panel on my shower dress, which I have a name. I'm calling it the Seashore Shorty because it's like the seaside, but short and a little different with the details. Um, and I finished the back and top. I realized I cannot do the neckband because I did not bring my US-4s with me. And I had them in the bag. I should have left them in the bag. Um, I was going to bring my whole set of Tiago needles. And then I got nervous. I usually don't take my whole interchangeable set on a plane. I panicked. So I took it out. And now I don't have fours. So I'm just going to leave the neckband on a needle. And then I picked up the original cast on the bottom. Did my increase row, and now I'm just knitting on the bottom ruffle. So excited. So I'm going to do that for a little bit. Probably go to bed. I'm hanging out down by the pool. It's really nice and sunny. 
when the clouds don't come out. Um, it's like mid 70s. I'm reading my book, my Kindle, and I have been reading in my bag. I haven't taken it out yet. I just put on suntan lotion. And I brought my white dress. So I think I'm gonna maybe wait till this like soaks in a little more. But I'll be here a good part of the day. May have gotten a little bit sunburned. I put lotion on like every 20 minutes today. So I'm thinking maybe the lotion was old and bad. So I am wearing my Sea breeze top, super cute. This is in my oyster colorway, and I'm nice and red. Not good, people. Wear your sunblock. But since I'm all sunburned, <laughs> it's cold. So I'm gonna put on my PJs. We just got home from dinner. I'm put on my jammies, and I didn't bring a sweatshirt with me, but I'm gonna put on my cardigan and cuddle up, snuggle up with myself and a little stuffed animal here. And I am finishing watching The Perfect Match on the last episode. Very good for anyone who hasn't seen it yet, I recommend. And I am updating every single colorway in my shop to include Boucle. So by the time this is out, Boucle will be available for every colorway. I have to go through every single colorway, one by one, and add it. So I hope you like it. I also figured, since I still have my bra on, I would do a little. This is very see-through, first of all, but this is my dress for my shower. Look at the bottom, that ruffle is so cute. It's still on the needle. I was so worried that be able to tell there was this little ruffle but I think you can I think it's so cute also there's no neckband on don't look at my sunburn there's no neckband on right now where's the middle it's right here I got nervous um yeah but it fits really well it's funny whenever I make a design it has to be blocked so it'll grow a little bit here but it's perfect um whenever I make a design not so much anymore but some of my earlier ones um, the design would get tweaked a good bit while we were working on it, and then I would never make another sample. Didn't have another sample, and I really like it. So I think I'm going to have to get some sort of slip, because even I have on, like, colored underwear right now, but even if I had on a white underwear or nude underwear, I think you'd see them. So I guess I need to get some sort of, if you have, I'll probably order one before you see this, but maybe I'll ask the brand. All right, I'm headed downstairs, very sunburned, but I'm wearing my Palmier knits. I'm gonna see a very special knitty friend today, and I am so, so excited. Can you guess who? Guess who's here? <laughs> I've got her, she's mine now. You all are never getting her back. That's cool, I'll <laughs> stay for her. Right, she's staying with me. I'm at that point in a project where I'm close to binding off and I'm like, oh, is this last row? Is this last row? And then I feel like I always make things too short. So I've been trying to get better at saying, okay, I have all 
these extra strings saying, okay, I want it to be this many inches and then like genuinely knitting to that many inches, sometimes a little bit more. And then I'm like, okay, it's good. I'm going to bind off. Instead of just binding off impulsively tonight, I decided to put my dress on and where we're at. First of all, I'm in Nanny's bathroom. This is the only place that has a full mirror in the apartment. I think it's perfect. Yes, I have my pants around my ankles. I'm too lazy to take them off. The neck band isn't on. I'm also wearing a sports bra, but this is going to block and it's actually gonna get a little longer. So I'm like, oh, is this too long? But I think it's like a classy length for a shower, maybe. Um, like I don't want a mini, you know? I probably could have made the body longer and then made the ruffle longer, but I'm really, really liking it. So that's where we're at. I think we're gonna call it quits on this. Bond off the bottom and then pick up for the sleeve. Whoa, whoa. So excited about that. It is now Sunday, Saturday afternoon. I'm all sniffly because I'm allergic to everything in this apartment, but see some? You might see something here. It is knit-a-thon day and I knit my sleeve. It was so quick. I thought this was going to take me a few days to finish. And let me just show you. And I finished it. It was so quick. It was only 16 grams. So I love how it came out. I think it would look cute without a sleeve, with a sleeve. But I'm going to pick up for my second sleeve right now. So excited. This is going to be done by the time we leave here. Or by the time I get home, then I'll just have to do the neckband. That'll be so quick. Really excited, which means I'm thinking I'm gonna pick this up now. I'll take this to dinner and maybe cast on my shorts tonight because I need a provisional cast on. And then I'll have those to work on. You can see it over there. Um, on the plane and whatnot when I come home. It is now March 30th. I'm editing this vlog and realizing I never closed it out. So maybe I'll close it out here with a little video of the Jersey jumpsuit, which is super, super cute and exciting. And this pattern's already in testing. So hang out, make sure you get on my newsletter and my Instagram to follow along for the release of this one because it's going to be real exciting. Bye. It's been a minute since you've seen me here, but this dress is finished, ends are woven in, and it's been sitting in our living room waiting to be blocked. So, Michael, yeah. do you know what time it is? Blocking time. It's blocking time. I usually block downstairs in the same bin that I rinse yarn in, but the fear I have about this dress because it's undyed and the remnants of yarn that might be downstairs is too strong. So I got this bowl, this large bowl for like chips and stuff that we, I don't think have ever used this size and filled it with wool wash. And now I'm dropping this in here and I'm gonna let this soak. And then I'll lay it out on the mat later. It is much later at night, but I've blocked two things. I took a tip from my friend Natalie, Nitty Natty, and reused my blocking water so I didn't waste it. Trying to save as much water as possible. And look what we have. We have a seashore dress and we have thick tan line shorts. Now, time you see both of those, they'll be on my body, which is super exciting. But for now, I'm going to bed. All right, I have taken my thick tan line shorts and my seashore dress off the blocking mats. <laughs> Michael just was walking in. Um, and I just wanted to show them on me one more time before I wrap up this video because I always forget to do this. So here you go. Here are the shorts. They're super cute, super cozy. Added that extra length, and I feel like I could just wear these forever and ever and never take them off. Um, they're super fuzzy. They're just, like, literally so cozy. Don't look at all my sweaters. My pile of sweaters. But, yeah.
They're so cozy. So that's outfit one. Boucle shorts, definitely a win. There will definitely be a boucle specific short and pant pattern. Thinking pockets. I have to learn how to steep. But you'll see that coming. Probably not till maybe in the summer, maybe in the fall. Probably in the fall. And then for my seashore dress, which is for my shower, all of the ends are woven in. It is blocked. I have a slip on underneath, but I didn't trim my ends yet so you could see them like hanging out or underneath. But it's so perfect. It is exactly what I wanted. These fancy little sleeves. The bottom is so cute. I love the length. I love the increase and decrease detail there. Um, yeah, I just, I love it. I'm going to wear it with these socks, obviously. Um, but yeah, I really love this ruffle at the bottom. You will see more of this. Um, there will be a set, so a skirt that's going to go with this because I think um, it'll basically just be my C side top with a skirt with a few different skirt options. And yeah, I love it. So cute. I cannot, wear to wear, I cannot wait to wear it. Who knows when that'll be. And I'm going to wrap up this video here. It has been such a joy spending a week with you, bringing you along to Florida and all of the shenanigans and taking you through my knitting. And I cannot wait to see you next time. Take care of each other. Bye.